the Mandalay Bay Convention Center is where we are today. This is HD Expo Hospitality Design, the 26th annual event, the premier show for interior designers, architects, purchasing agents, owners, operators, brand executives, and other hospitality design professionals. Well, of course, there is no better place to have a hospitality design expo than Las Vegas. Our main business is hospitality. I've been to this show before. It's quite interesting, and we're going to take a look around. We're in the Kohler exhibit, and it looks as if uh, champagne is being served, and lots of folks are here. This bathtub is actually made of something called lithocast, and you know, it reminds me of what I used to see in the movies, a trough where horses took a big drink, but I'm sure that's not the case anymore. This is a Kohler bathtub. I originally stopped to look at this Kohler toilet because I noticed that the toilet paper holder was way behind the toilet. I said, well, this may be for display purposes, but very inconvenient. And then I lifted the uh, plate here. And once you get it started, it raises by itself. I'm going a little crazy here. It's like I'm in a great big home store. Also, even though this is hospitality design, I see a number of things that could be used in a home. It's all kinds of flooring. This is dowel tile. Oh my goodness, they have all sorts of new things. They even have a layer that you could put over existing tiles and looks like concrete. I mean, if you want that look, and they can even put a real thin layer of whatever that is that looks like marble on the wall. And I guess it's easy install. Lots of new things to think about. The headboard, this one is fit for a queen. This is Costa Designs. And we've got uh, nice little silver side tables, but look at this dining room. More Costa Designs. I asked the gentleman here whether you take these flowers off of the chairs when dinner is served. No, no, this is part of the design. Costa. One more unique Costa design. If in fact you want to sleep with a skull. <laughs> I'm in the Toto booth and when I walked up to this toilet the lid opened automatically. But that's not all about this NeoRest toilet. It is kind of a combination of toilet and bidet. Um, there is what the, the cleaning of the rear end and the drying, but it also is kind of self cleaning. And what else did you see? Heated Se toilet seat? Heated toilet seat. And let's put this lid down because if for some reason you need to have a seat in your bathroom. It's also kind of nice and it doesn't give you the impression you're sitting on the toilet. Now, this do-everything toilet can be purchased for the home, but the list price is high, like around $12,000, so you have to shop around to find it at a good price. This is Toto. Sting display, these are lightweight chandeliers, very attractive by Curry Company. This is Tile, folks, from Arizona Tile. Sunbrella is a name we all know, or at least I do, because I have outdoor cushions with Sunbrella fabric. Sunbrella is a North Carolina company, probably the largest supplier of fabric for outdoor cushions, but I'm told that these fabrics are now being used 
more frequently indoors, particularly for large places like hotels, etc. So they're doing a large indoor business now as well. This is Modern Forms, a WAC or WAC lighting company. WAC might uh, be it. Very unusual lighting fixtures and indeed modern. ISA International has these chairs on display and I notice that the website is www.haveaseat.com. Don't like fiddling with hooks on shower curtains. These are hookless shower curtains by Focus. This is a global display and colorful chairs and table, but look at this centerpiece, or two centerpieces. They must have tiny, tiny batteries. This is Authentic Models in Search of Times Lost. And these are reproductions, I assume, of things from the past. This is Autry Furniture Manufacturing, and they will do anything you want for the outdoor pool area. And once you're in the pool, when you get out, there are robes and towels and more robes. This is the best cheer stone ink exhibit and I was curious about their African collection. This marble comes from Africa, Namibia. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, most marble we think comes from Italy, but not all. This comes from Africa. The company's headquartered in California. They'll be happy to supply this beautiful piece. Um, for your kitchen or an apartment house full of kitchens. BCS. Wow, talk about being hit with color. This is pole art, and they seem to make a lot of things that are very bright. This is part of the pole art exhibit. It's a grandfather clock with no grandfather, but a clock. This seems to be some kind of formed plastic, and it even comes in a rocking chair. This is Tonic, T-O-N-I-K. The name Candy Shade was everywhere, and I had to ask this gentleman, what is a Candy Shade? So a Candy Shade is a personal sunshade. It allows you to protect your face, any target area, still tan the rest of your body. When the sun position moves, you can easily move it to the side and enjoy the sun. If you want to cast a bigger shadow, you just change the angle of the shape. Just like standing in the sun, your shadow on the ground is a lot taller than you are tall. So, can individuals buy these? Individuals can buy this. We sell it for $49.99. And uh, we also have a bigger one that's actually 20 inches in diameter. We sell it for $79.99. Okay, and uh, Derek says this is a year old company, brand new, so this must be your first time at. This is our first time at the HD Expo. It's our biggest show we've been to so far, and we're absolutely loving it. Okay, and this is here is how this would attach to a lounge chair. And it's called Candy Shade because... Whenever you extend it, it looks like a lollipop. It looks like a lollipop. Great idea. Good Thank luck. So Here's an alternative to Candy Shade. A whole structure that shades you, although you can't get a tan at the same time. With Candy Shade, you can shade your face and still get a lovely tan on the rest of you. This is Hammerton, and they have a lot of very interesting light fixtures. All for sale. This is tile, and it looks like carpet. said infinity drain and I had to ask what is an infinity drain and two young women 
tried to explain to me, apparently this would be the, the floor of a shower and the water would run in that little trough but then end up going underneath and in the drain that would connect to the uh, sewer system. So it doesn't look like a regular drain. Hmm. Okay, what about hair and stuff that normally gets... That's why you have a little hair catcher. You can lift this out by the handle. Okay. And clean it off if you need to. All right. Well, huh. We're so used to regular shower drains, but this is nicer looking. <laughs> it's called ID Infinity Drain. Trio Concepts is a Toronto, Canada company, and I stopped to look at this sink. It is gray in color. This is a solid surface material, extremely fancy plastic, uh, very attractive. This particular sink was done for a hotel, and it has a very modern vibe, so I like it. Can Trio Concepts. This is a bed in a wall, and it was just... Yeah. Innova? Innova. This is a bed in a wall by Innova, but when you put it back up, the wall is quite attractive. Number three. First it's a couch, and then it's a bed. We have a local Bedrosian store near where I live, or it's more than a store, a big warehouse full of tile. And they are at a number of conventions I attend as well. Maxwell Rogers Fabrics has all of these bed throw collections. So you can surely <laughs> you can surely find one to meet your needs. Need a pot for your plants? This is Asian ceramics. Beautiful things. And here are some artificial plants. I don't think we'd put them in those big pots, but if you don't do well with live plants, here are some pretty and will never die. Or you can just have pictures of flowers. Very colorful. This is Access Industries and they have come up with some interesting uh, new things to me. So what is all of this that you have here? Okay, so basically we've got the core of our products is an electronic do not disturb system. So basically inside the guest room, we're going to have this keypad in the guest room. When privacy is selected, the sign sitting in the hallway, room number sign, is going to turn red for do not disturb. It's going to stop the doorbell from ringing and it's going to send this message down to the housekeeping office that do not disturb has been selected. We've got the service call button, turns the light in the hallway green, allows the doorbell to ring, and sends the service message down to the housekeeping office so that the staff know to come and take care of their guest. And best of all is our tray tracker system. In the sign, in the room number sign, there is a receiver embedded. On the food tray, there is going to be a transmitter. So when that card is pushed into the hallway with the dirty dishes and used food, that message is going to be sent to the receiver in the sign and then down to the housekeeping office so that the staff can come and take care of the dirty tray in the hallway. That's absolutely amazing, but you would have to sell these to like the whole hotel, right? Yes. So that everybody could be trained and understand how this works including the customers, but the customers. Do you have anything like this installed in Las Vegas yet? We have our Do Not Disturb system um, is in Aria, um, Vidara, and we are in Delano, we are in... Um, All the new places. Yes, Alara, and we are also in the Planet Hollywood. Okay, it's an old place that's been redone, okay. Yes. I'll be darned. Well, this is Access. Did I say it right? Access Industries. 
Access Industries located in Canada, right? That's right. Okay, well, congratulations and thanks for the explanation. You are very well. This is U.S. Floors. This sign says XRC. The title is Misty Quartz. I thought this was quartz. Gentleman comes up and says, no, this is vinyl. And one can install this on top of tile. Well, well, well. This is Rocky Mountain, and they have a whole display here of everything from doorknobs to uh, faucets, etc. Cute display. This is Stoneyard Inc. and Ecovara. This must be the stone. Very unusual, and I'm sure very heavy pots. Well, one hot model must have lost her shirt. It's just hanging here, this shirt. Hot models. Jasper chair, restaurant seating, I assume. This is Janice and C. I assume they designed the chairs and they designed a very attractive display also. This is Ashley Lighting and they have a couple of unusual lamps here. I can't decide whether I like them or not, but they are distinctive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think Liberace would have liked this. Colorful and comfortable. Every hotel needs a bed. And so Temper and Sealy are here. Don't see people. Well, they're talking about it. They're not lying on the bed. Exceptional value, legend, legendary support, luxury craftsmanship. Boy, each one of these has a little slogan. Transformative sleep. Well, you can't beat that. You can see by the sign and the design here that neoteric luxury does things in a different way. And I was particularly uh, astounded by this. It is a back and forth rocker. This is a handmade item made in the Philippines and would cost, and this is for hospitality, design, but if an individual wanted something like this, they may be paying north of seven or eight thousand dollars. But it would be unique in your yard. Tarek also has this piece, which could be a bench or a side table, and it's a big foot. Neoteric tells me that this is a very popular item and has even been sold to the Encore, probably the pool area lounge chair and then in the middle you can store your drinks or take the box out whatever is your pleasure but this is at the encore american society of interior designers has this colorful sign design impacts lives and that's obviously true this is wood art and they have a lot of chandeliers on display and then underneath Two pair of flip-flops. Don't quite understand all that unless maybe these are folks who work the booth and are tired of standing in high heel shoes. Lots of ways to display items. Here are some chairs hung by ropes. Well, it made me stop, so I guess it's effective. Never would have thought of this myself. This is part of the Himalaya Resort. You've got see-through chairs, see-through table. It's like it's not even there. Look who is here. Right by the Dyson exhibit. How to dry your hands without towels. And the fan is blowing on me, which actually feels good. And the little dog just took a nap. Whoops. We're back up again. Cobra Art USA, I assume, supplies art to hotels and condos, etc. 
that needs something special. Victoria and Albert volcanic limestone baths. Look here. You're in the bath. You have a drink and even a tray to serve it on. Crossley Axminster has a number of uh, rugs and carpets on display. They look like the kind that would be uh, around for a while. I particularly like this design. Oh, okay. Green line, the ultimate shower door experience. Here's what they mean. Okay, these are something different in shower doors. For $5, I can have him stand inside of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, these are very interesting doors. Thank you. I'll take you interesting. Different. Do you have any installed in Las Vegas? I don't believe we have uh, any. Oh, actually, yeah, we do in the Gold Nugget. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, our aqua collection. We don't have any on display here, but it's a European design with curved glass. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I love these. Thank you so Interesting much. Interesting way to decorate cords. Outside can also be fired up. Original collections by Mountain House. Some graphic designs for your establishment. This is Unicorn Graphics. <laughs> Looking at all this seating and finally thinking maybe it's time for me to sit down. I've been walking the show floor and it's huge and I missed a lot, but it's been an interesting time here at the HD show. Hospitality design is also designed for the home, so it was like being in a huge furniture store for me. Enjoyed every minute of it.